So for the last part, we want to turn the triangle into a cone. So we want it to look like an upside down ice cream cone. So we're going to use the same techniques that we used in the sphere. Um, but before we need to do that, we actually need to extend this shape. So at the moment, it's just a triangle. But to make it more like a cone, we're going to add a curved line at the bottom here. So I've just roughly sketched that out there. Now you'll need to get a rubber and you're just going to erase, bear with me, we're gonna erase that middle line. So you can probably still see mine, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, so we're gonna join up those lines there and then we've already got that kind of cone shape. It looks like an upside down ice cream at the moment. So what we're gonna do is have some curved lines just like the sphere uh, and we are going to curve lines all the way down. The curved line needs to be exactly the same as the new shape that, uh, the new line, sorry, that we added to the shape. So you can see that's curved this side and we're gonna do exactly the same on this side too. So we can join those up there. So already it's starting to take shape. So that triangle has turned into a cone. We also want to build this up even more. So we are going to add some lines. We're gonna go from this top point here and we're gonna go all the way down. Now to create darker tones, you add lines closer together, but to create lighter tones, our lines will go further away. So actually, can you see that my lines are getting further away in the center? And I'm gonna just join them up a little bit closer together for the edges. So it's already starting to take shape. So I'm gonna press a little bit harder here just to kind of neaten it up. And actually I'm really lightly shading in these areas here. So really, really lightly, just on the one side and then this side here too. So just shade that in a little bit. If you want, you could rub this area out um, but, or you can just build it up really, really lightly pressing with the pencil. Make sure you get it from the bottom all the way to the top as well. And then we have more of a cone shape. So the light is shining here. Uh, so we need to create a shadow in the background. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pretend or, or imagine where the lines are coming from. So if I just join that line there just kind of join that line very faintly to here. That's kind of where a shadow would be cast. I'm just going to shade that in there. Don't worry too much if it's not too neat. We're just gonna add that like that. We've got a bit of a bit of a shadow there. So that's how you turn a triangle into a cone.